to talk about the uh, the Duelist pedal. The Duelist is a dual overdrive pedal, um, meaning that both sides are completely separate. So it's like having two pedals in one. You can use them um, either one or the other, or you can use them both together. This is the clean sound. <laughs> the glass setting. This is the bass setting. It's got a quite a bit more gain than the tube screamer, so when the gain is uh, up halfway it's actually pretty close to full on a normal tube screamer, so this actually gives you a lot more gain. So here's what it sounds like with the gain up full. So with the drive all the way down, you actually get a, a pretty much a clean tone and you can use it as a, as a clean boost. And this is really where the, the, the deep and glass settings really show up. Um, here's the clean sound. So you can hear it really fattens up the sound. In the glass setting you get you can really hear the glassiness. Just crank it up just a little bit. B is great for those kind of fat blues tones. Um. Uh, let's try that on the deep setting. And on the glass setting. Cool, and this is with the gain. Uh, I'll turn the gain up full so you can hear how much it's got. If we, if we turn it all the way down, you can get a really cool, uh, clean boost. Uh, this is just with it in the stock setting. So the, uh, the glass setting actually works really, really well if you're using it as a clean boost. You can get that really kind of bright, clean tone. Um, I'll put it on the glass setting, roll the tone down a little bit and just give it quite a bit of drive. So let's try that on the deep setting. So you can hear there's a lot of bass on the uh, bass setting. Uh, so obviously the overdrives can be used completely separately, but they actually work really well together. So together you can get a really heavy overdrive sound and it works, it works really well. So one thing about this pedal that's really important to mention is the four switches on the inside. Now these switches on the inside allow you to really heavily influence the tone. Um, so basically, you take the screws off the back, and on, on the inside, you'll see the circuit board, you'll see a switch here. Now, there are the default settings which are marked, uh, and there's a little dot there, and if you set the switches towards the dot, that'll be the default setting. 
So this is with switch number one turned off. Now turn it on. You can hear it. So switch number two switches between symmetrical and asymmetrical clipping. Um, and what that basically does, the standard setting will be symmetrical clipping, and that's what, let's say, a tube screamer normally does, or what the output of a tube amplifier when it's overdriven would normally be, it would be symmetrical clipping. However, if you overdrive the preamp tubes of a tube amplifier, the clipping tends to be asymmetrical, or something like a fuzz face, which is asymmetrical. So it gives you a slightly different sound, and it's great to have the option to switch it. You might prefer one or the other. The symmetrical clipping. And this is asymmetrical clipping. You can probably kind of hear a difference in the kind of grit. It is slightly different and you might prefer one or the other. Um, symmetrical clipping actually gives you slightly more sustain, but you get a kind of a grit from asymmetrical. So switch number three affects channel B and it adds distortion. Uh, and you can really hear that. This is, uh, this is channel B. So this is channel B set with the uh, distortion switch on. And this gives you a lot more distortion. And that's really cool if you want to set it up so drive A is overdrive and drive B is distortion. And with distortion with the deep setting, it's very full on overdrive. So switch number four is again asymmetrical and symmetrical clipping for drive B and it's in, in its default setting it's symmetrical. Um, so here is the asymmetrical sound. So this is channel B with the asymmetrical clipping set but it also has a distortion on it as well and I think these two work really well together, it gives you a really gritty uh, distortion sound. <laughs> runs on a 9 volt power supply or internal battery. Uh, so one last thing to say about this pedal is it is true bypass um, and meaning that when the pedal is bypassed it's your pure tone and it hasn't affected it in any way. <laughs>